I lived in a small country town, uh, Gerasbergen, on the outskirts. Nothing very special, small community. My parents were also very Catholic. We had to go to Mass uh, every week. And also in school we had to go to Mass. Uh, it's just part of your world, you know. Uh, it provoked a kind of fascination for uh, the language that was used in the relig religion. The, 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 the visual language in religion is something I remember as a child that both fascinated me, but also frightened me a lot, because it was very gothic. And, and all these statues of the saints in the church and the paintings and uh, by the time I was 10 I realized I really, really had to get out of there. <laughs> I have always been drawing, always uh, since in kindergarten, I've been drawing. When I was six, I realized uh, drawing was my thing. I was interested in painting, but I thought, uh, for me, it was too difficult, too complex. But also, the way they were teaching drawing, uh, painting back then was not the way I wanted to paint. I wanted to be better in drawing, so I studied graphic arts, where I got a specialization in uh, etching. When I was 15, in my first year in Ghent, I saw a show on the etchings in the local museum of fine arts in Ghent. There was a show on the etchings of uh, Goya, the series of etchings. That made an enormous impression on me. And I realized, without words, you can see much more in an implicit way or an explicit way, but you don't need the words. I think it's about the image. After I finished school, I was really, really focusing on drawing in the French 18th century, Rococo times. But Fragonard was, in my opinion, the best draughtsman ever. So I bought, had a lot of books of his work. And then I saw he made paintings too. And then I, I copied his drawings. But I thought, well, this style of painting is maybe something I can, I can try. And that's how it started. Um, and later on, I discovered that Velasquez was more, uh, even more uh, interesting for me to uh, to study, uh, to uh, because he had this uh, magnificent way of uh, being suggestive with paint, uh, and. It has to do with temperament also, because my favorite painter, I mean, if you would ask me if there's one artist you would have, you, you could have one work of one painter, I, I would say Chardin, Jean Simeon de Chardin, uh, still alive or, or, or one of the card players. Um, but I could never make a painting like this because he was a very patient, easy painter, sitting down, you know. I'm, I cannot do this. Um, and Velasquez has this temperament. He's, he's a ner ner more nervous style. And it, it suits my character better. Uh, that, that's why uh, Velasquez I see uh, technically as, as, as my technical teacher. I'm mostly interested in examining how we uh, perceive and reproduce reality. How the image uh, plays its role in our culture. And that's uh, for a large part my subject. 
to try to examine this and to see where I can take it and what the limits of it are and uh, about uh, what the image is, what the meaning of the image can be, how the image is used, how we have expectations about an image. And if you take away uh, some references in, in images, how the expectations get uh, frustrated and things like that. And that's a psychological game also, but uh, it's uh, interesting for me to, uh, I find this interesting uh, to play with. Uh, mostly uh, I'm very nervous. Um, I, it's like I have to go out on a first date uh, with someone I'm secretly in love with, something like that. Like very, very nervous, almost shaky. And sometimes I don't even dare to start. I prepare my paintings in my head. And then I feel it has to be the right moment when I start, that I cannot hold it anymore. And sometimes I have to postpone it a couple of days. I can be very much uh, influenced uh, just as much by a picture of Man Ray as uh, by a drawing of Goya. Uh, they're very different things, of course, but uh, you're always in a sort of relationship with these things because there are the building stones. They're, 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 that's what, well, it's like history, it's, it's where we come from. Uh, so a dialogue with these things is if inevitable. You cannot make something new, uh, really new. You always have to reflect or dialogue with what, what was. Yeah, for me, silence has also something to do with um, with time. It's not not uh, not the absence of sound, but also um, absence of movement. And uh, I really think that about. As, as something frozen in time and so frozen in, uh, in, in movement. It's an experiment. And for me it's also an honor that uh, Mark is, oh, was open for it also, uh, because uh, it's very much Mark's world. It's his self-portrait as a building. So it's the first time something strange, he lets something strange in from, from another artist, so that's, uh, that I see as an honor, of course, a great honor. But I'm also very curious to see it for myself, how it will work. So for me, this is, uh, to do a show, much more exciting than any other show.